our final video consists of uh, setting up the solver and then post-processing of the results for our model. Uh, so once we click on the uh, solution button, uh, we have the CFX solver manager. We want to use a double precision solution because we're resolving the boundary layers with fine mesh. I have a multi-processor machine where I'm going to make use of 20 processors to solve our model. Then I'm going to hit start run. It is important to uh, track the progress uh, visually of the uh, solution as it moves forward. As you can see here, you know, uh, the run has started. We're going through iterations. Uh, seems things seem to be going okay. And um, we're going to, you know, pick back uh, fr from the convert solution. So after about 10 minutes, uh, we have a convert solution, uh, I would say, because looks like the residuals have dropped down. We've hit 200 iterations. We can run it some more, but uh, it does look converged uh, for our purposes. So we can move on to the post-processing stage. So we double click on the results button, which is going to bring up CFD post. And again, there are some special features in CFD post for turbo machinery applications, which uh, we're going to take advantage of. Okay, let's stretch our window. And we can see our domain, CFD post. So it looks like things are going well so far. We're going go to go to the turbo button. And we're going to initialize all components. We're going to hit calculate the last components. And uh, one of the first things I'd like to look at is uh, blade to blade flow variation. So I'm going to click blade to blade. This is going to bring up the view. And uh, we're going to pick up our domain to two instances. Hit apply, and what this is going to bring up is is the pressure field. So maybe zoom out a little. So we have our uh, view set. And what we can see quickly is pressure comes in low and it pressurizes uh, toward the outlet. So that is good news. It's doing what it's supposed to do. And let's also check our velocity. So I'm going to put velocity. And uh, what we are seeing is the velocity in the global scale. Let's do a local. Let's look at our velocities. And here, we kind of see a low velocity region, which could be an indication of separation, which is something we want to avoid. Uh, so let's switch to vector view and hit apply and see if we indeed have a recirculation zone there. And what do you know? We, we do have little bit of a recirculation zone which we might want to improve our design. So this is one way of looking at things. Another view is the meridional view uh, which design engineers like to use and we can look at for example the meridional velocity in this view. And uh, this is somewhat similar to uh, what we were uh, seeing in uh, Vista TF. You know, it would look at the velocity, meridional velocity. Also, maybe another way to look at this is the pressure. So we want to see pressure increase as we move downstream, which we do. Uh, so uh, 
other things you know we may want to look at as a designer is blade loading charts let's try to bring up uh, so here uh, we have the top and the uh, bottom uh, surface blade loading we can look at it at different spans like let's move near the hub region let's hit apply Uh, velocity into the y-axis and uh, you know we can look at hub to shroud uh, charts for pressure Let's see. so these are uh, different tools uh, what one can use to examine the design and the results and uh, decide to make design changes so this concludes our uh, presentation uh, uh, for the ANSYS Turbo System workflow uh, with a design uh, of a centrifugal compressor. Thank you.